all these years we have been using our teaching and learning conducting our teaching and learning activity in a normal classroom teaching but now due to unprecedented covid like conditions we all of us have been prompted to use different technologies now this experience is for us pretty new for you also pretty new but the ultimate objective is we have to keep the machine move on today i am going to teach you a lesson the tiger king before going further i want to speak a little about the ex prime minister of britain margaret thatcher she was known as the iron lady but here in our story this particular king is called as the tiger king maybe he is very much fond of hunting the tigers those days maharajas were the one who had been hunting the tigers therefore this king probably had named as the tiger king this is a story of the maharaja of pratibandapuram his highness jamedar general kiledar major satavihagraha samahari maharaja viswabhona samrat sir jalani jang bahadur these are the, these are all the titles conferred on him like an indian army general also using some of the titles pvsm parma visistha seva medal avv avsm ati visistha seva medal similarly this tiger king is using all these titles he became known as the tiger king according to the legend when he was born the astrologers the priests of his kingdom proclaimed that having been under a particular star tidhi nakshatra meant that he would have to die hearing this the royal prince who was then only 10 days old suddenly got up and spoke much to the astonishment of all those assembled there the prince wanted to know the manner of his death say boy of 10 days old wanted to know the source of his death it's really quite astonishing surprising in response in response to his in in their sorry in their reply the astrologer said that he was born in the hour of the bull the bull and the tiger are enemies according to the astrologers astrology according to me astrology itself is unproven science but according to them the bull and the tiger are enemies therefore his death would be caused by the tiger look at the image of the king sitting on the lap of his mom listening to this prediction the prince who was an infant aged 10 growled shouted and said let the tigers beware 
will it be believable a boy of 10 spoke in a very assertive manner let the tigers beware the prince grew up with all education taught by english nanny drank the english cow milk became stronger he was crowned as the maharaja look at he was crowned as the maharaja now the maharaja undisputed ruler of the kingdom those days undemocratically elected ruler his actions were never questioned could not be questioned the maharaja started out on a tiger hunt because he wanted to disprove the predictions of the astrologers therefore single mindedly he started hunting the tigers he killed a tiger and sent word for the astrologer the astrologer accepted that proclaimed that maharaja you may kill 99 tigers successfully but but with a quivering voice be careful with the hundred tiger listening to this the tiger king challenged the panel of astrologers the astrologer agreed to set fire to all his astrology books cut his tuft and become a insurance agent if his prediction became untrue that was the conference of the astrologer then single mindedly the tiger king focused all his energies on killing the tigers the tiger king banned tiger shooting in his kingdom except him why he wanted to kill all the hundred tigers if any one of them if any one of the subjects of his kingdom they to kill a tiger then all their wealth and the property would be confiscated taken away by force that was the decree passed to the subjects of his kingdom the maharaja would that he would look into the affairs of the state or kingdom only after killing the hundred tiger means the primary issues of the kingdom had taken the back seat the inconsequential matters have taken the prime space in his kingdom in his administration in full swing day and night day after day he hunted the tigers many a times missed the bullet but finally he won one day a high ranking british official visited pratibandha par pratibandha param was a princely state this was under the occupation of east india company a high ranking british official paid a visit to the state princely state of pratibandha par the british officer too was very much fond of hunting tigers and wanted to hunt the tigers in pratibandha par but the maharaja refused permission because the maharaja was egoistic maharaja raja di raja bhavana samrat he was so egoistic the british officer was not permitted to hunt the tigers as a consequence the british officer officer was more influential more powerful 
than the Maharaja of a limited territory, a limited princely state. Therefore, the official had sent a message that he only wanted to take a photograph, at least holding a gun with a carcass, a dead tiger. Maharaja, with a balloon sized ego, he still refused. As a consequence, as a result of his refusal, the Maharaja was in danger of losing his throne. Danger of losing his throne as he had prevented the British official in fulfilling his desire. To resolve the situation, the Maharaja and his the Divan held deliberations and finally decided to get diamond rings for the British officer's lady. Why did they strike a deal with a British officer's lady? Because the British officer wanted to confiscate his property, his territory. The British officer was more influential than the Maharaja himself. Therefore, now coming back to the census, the Maharaja wanted to strike a deal with the British officer. What did he do? He decided to send 50 diamond rings for the British officer's lady. They ordered some samples from Calcutta and 50 diamond rings arrived from Calcutta city. They were sent to his wife, the wife of Dorai Sani of a British officer. But instead of choosing one, she retained all the diamond rings and thanked the Maharaja for his gifts. For gifting her the bill amounting to rupees 3 lakhs, it had cost the state exchequer 3 lakhs. You can imagine, the Maharaja had paid a heavy price for that, but his actions could not be questioned by his subjects. At last the king was somehow, anyhow he was happy. Though he had lost a heavy amount, but he managed to retain his kingdom. The king continued to kill and was in shock of hunting 30 tigers. He had successfully killed 70 tigers, still running short of 30 more. Now, he decided to marry with the sole intention of killing the remaining 30 tigers. He found a girl in the royal family of a neighboring state, neighboring princely state, with a large tiger population and married. He got married not to lead a martyr life, only to fulfill his desire. Every time he visited his father-in-law, he would kill five to six tigers. He completed hunting 99 tigers successfully. Now, his anxiety, his anxiety is mounting very high, becoming stronger. His tension is shooting up. By now, it was difficult to locate tigers anywhere, either in his kingdom or in the kingdom of his father-in-law. The Maharaja wanted to kill the hand of the tiger and give up our hunting. That was his aim. By all accounts, he wanted to disprove the predictions of the astrologer. The Maharaja now was worried about killing the hand of the tiger. One day, he came to know that 
the sheep were vanishing from a hillside village in his kingdom he came to know through his subjects the news of vanishing sheep he announced a 3 year tax exemption for the village and set out for the tiger hunt but he could not locate and hunt the tiger due to his anger because his frustration was growing stronger and stronger as a result of his frustration many one of the top ranking officials of his kingdom had lost their jobs one day he called the diva and ordered him to double the land tax though the fault was this the fault was not theirs villagers fault but because of his frustration he doubled the taxes now the divan in order to please the kingdom the divan found a way out otherwise the divan would too would lose his job so he found a way out he brought a tiger from the people's park in madras and kept it hidden in his house at midnight he and his aged wife dragged the tiger to the car and showed it into the seat look at the image the divan himself drove the car and struggled to pull it down the next day the tiger wandered in the forest in the sight of the maharaja and aimed at it the tiger crumpled heap and the maharaja was overjoyed without verifying the facts proclaiming that he had killed the hundred tiger and hastened went away in his car the hunters come close and saw that still the tiger was rolling its eyes they understood that the maharaja had missed the bullet and the tiger had fainted out of shock but they they can't pass it on this news to the maharaja maharaja hastily had gone away with the news of killing the tiger so none of his subjects people can't pass it on this message to him they don't want to anger him so what did they do fearing that they would lose their jobs one of the hunters took him and shot him they decided to kill the tiger the dead tiger was in procession through the town and buried but the fact is the maharaja had not killed the tiger but it was taken out in a procession throughout the town a tomb was built on the top of that dead tiger a few days later the maharaja celebrated his son's third birthday he wanted to present him a gift both maharaja and his son went round for shopping but could not find anything suitable at last while on their rounds while on their rounds they spotted a wooden tiger in a toy shop and decided that it was the perfect gift 
for his son's birthday a wooden tiger the shopkeeper sensing the anxiety sensing the interest of the tiger king the shopkeeper cleverly quoted the two annas worth wooden tiger for rupees 300 one day when the maharaja and his son were playing with his tiny wooden tiger it had the wooden tiger had tiny slivers small edges slivers and small edges slivers of wood standing like quills all over as it was carved by an unskilled carpenter one of the slivers pierced the maharaja's right hand and he pulled it out with his left hand and continued to play with his son the next day the infection flared up in the maharaja's right hand and in four days it developed into a, a suppurating sore which spread all over the arm all over the all over the arm a kind of substance pus was flaring up because he was the maharaja three surgeons eminent surgeons for madras were pressed into operation they performed the operation very successful, successfully and declared the operation was successful the Maharaja is dead as the astrologer had predicted, predicted the hundred tiger killed him or took revenge on the king now let us think it over if the tiger king had not killed any tiger he would not have died early point number one point number two the tiger king had killed the tigers mercilessly three the wooden tiger took revenge on the tiger king four the primary issues of the kingdom had been ignored by the Maharaja. The inconsequential matters of his personal had taken the center space in his administration. This is what about the lesson, the Tiger King.